tonight about a criminal investigation into Miami Dolphins wide receiver Jarvis Landry. News who is being investigated in connection with a battery case surfaced not long after his new teammate Jay Cutler arrived in Davie. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live at the Broward State Attorney's Office with more on that story. Kerry. Yes, Lauren and Rick, the Broward State Attorney's Office released this court document a short time ago. Because this is an active, ongoing investigation, there are very few details in here. What we do learn is that this case is being investigated as a domestic violence situation and that this document was filed with prosecutors last Thursday. Now, this afternoon, the mother of Landry's child released a statement saying there was no domestic violence. Miami Dolphins star wide receiver Jarvis Landry is known for his game breaking speed and highlight real plays. And now police and prosecutors confirm that the third year pro is being investigated for a possible battery at his Fort Lauderdale home. According to police and court documents, the incident occurred on April 1st, just after 10 p.m. A Fort Lauderdale police report lists few details on the case, but it lists the weapons used as hands, feet, fist, and teeth. There were no arrests made and no charges filed. A court document released by the Broward State Attorney's Office Monday, which is stamped domestic violence, also reveals little info about the case. Dolphins head coach Adam Gase addressed the matter Monday. Yeah, we're aware of it. We took the proper, we took the proper steps of what we're supposed to do, and really past that, I can't really comment on anything. Estrella Cerquera, the mother of Landry's child, released a statement Monday afternoon saying, I was not in any way physically harmed. Yes, we are going through a civil family court case and emotions are high, but I would like to make it very clear that Jarvis would never, ever do anything to harm me or anyone else. The statement went on, Jarvis and I are happily raising our beautiful daughter, and I would like to make a plea to the media that they refrain from spreading this completely false story. CBS 4 News found this picture of Landry on a Twitter feed apparently belonging to Sir Kara. It was posted last Monday, and it said through our ups and downs, just know we will always be your biggest fans. Now, in that statement from the mother of Landry's child, she also said that the couple had a vocal disagreement, is what she called it, and that someone called 911. She said she did not. Now, the prosecutor's office here in Broward County told me that they're continuing to review this case, and they do, they do not expect a decision on charges to come this week. We'll keep you posted. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.